Oh, hello. We made it. Rob's just about to pull ours out. Louis just going to do some limiter bashing before we remove the engine. Obligatory. You don't need you don't need to let it warm up, mate. You're about to take it out. Bangs, mate. How excited are you for K swaps, Carl? Yeah, probably. Just oh, that was the missus. Oh, uh, don't avoid the question. Oh, nice and clean, I like it. I am the authorised cameraman. Oh god. <laughs> Almost done me. Almost there mate. How much left to do? You have to whack it off with ammo. With ammo. Whack it off with ammo. I've got the bar on it. I just yeah, need just someone to try and help from the from the hub. From oh, what? Yeah. The hub. The, 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 the hub. <laughs> <laughs> just can look at it, Tim. <laughs> it's a hedge. Uh, and a bar a that's behind you and you'll and smash it off. Hold. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, that. No, the chisel. <laughs> The hook's eBay, mate. Can you rock the end? Of it. eBay's the best for everything. <laughs> so <old> cars, eBay. eBay is the best way. Oh shit! I'm going back now. Yeah, I'll put it back a bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Go back a bit. Is that going to be in the way though, that cupboard? You'll have yourself. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Jesus Christ, Benton. What you oh, doing, Rob? Just lowering the rear of the car about 10 mil, just so it sits even with the front. Yeah, I'll just move you and then giving it a quick alignment. The DC5 Recaro's in the passenger side, just need to tidy up the harness. And then stick the old... Uh, Helmet hammock in. Mm -hmm. and then we're ready for race. Ready to race. Right, which way do these go? Towards me. Screening the light bulb. Fuck it. Didn't even have to do anything when you come looking. <laughs> That is the advantage of copper slipping your coil over. So you go and watch that video that we made a while ago. If you want to know how to do that. Mm -hmm. It's a good action there. I mean, this ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> so we have got the engine out. We haven't done much filming, I don't think. I don't know what's just been just before this because Lawrence was filming for us earlier. So you may have seen that the engine is now out. Let me get out. Okay. <laughs> You'll see now that the engine is out and Louis's already cracking on with um, scotching it all down, degreasing it and getting it ready for paint. So that all looks cool. All the brackets and everything that came out uh, are all on the floor over here. So we've got headlights, drive shafts, washer bottle, really well all that kind of stuff. Yeah, just where we need it to put it back in. <laughs> And uh, 
Yeah, so that was really good. We got managed to get it out. Three or four of us, depending on how who was working on it, we did about in an, an hour and a half, something like that, um, from being on the floor to having the engine out. So that was really good. Uh, we've managed to do a couple of bits to ours as well. So the DC5 Recaro is mounted, the harness is just about done, and we've also been messing around with doing our alignment as well. So the rear has been dropped around 10 mil and uh, we're just trying to get the toe about straight on the front because we were towing in massively. So this is what the car sits like at the moment. Looks pretty cool. Um, again, the, the side skirts and whatnot are all sort of fixed on there now. And our only missing ingredient is gonna be the spoiler, which we've ordered from the state. So that will turn up within the next month or so, I guess. And then the exterior will be how it will be when we get it painted. So we don't really know what we're gonna do in terms of paint yet. Um, we are obviously planning on tracking the car next year. So we're probably gonna do that and then figure out paint for early 2019. We don't know yet. That's a sort of a, a, a ballpark um, sort of time frame, but we don't know. We'll see how next year pans out provided we don't have any other issues with the car that uh, makes it unroadworthy, worthy then uh, we'll uh, shoot for paint then. So I think that's about it. These three are uh, working away on whatever they're working on. Obviously we'll have a lot more uh, footage of the engine swap and whatnot. So Louis also got obviously the engine over here and then a DC2 subframe down there as well. So. I'd imagine it's going to be a lot of painting and making everything look a bit sort of smarter and then uh, getting it all in the car. So thanks again for, uh, for watching and uh, stay tuned for more updates on Louis' car and obviously our, uh, our project ECK20 as well. So uh, give us a like if you've uh, enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't done already and we'll uh, see you next time. Peace.